Hello everybody, Average Gamer here, and today we have another match from Armored Warfare, that's right. So we're running our T-62 vet through everything. We're going to go through all the maps and have some fun. Actually, you know what? We're going to change that. We're going to go with our Patton, our Patton 48. We're going to have a little fun with it, see what we can do, and uh, enjoy the, the fun that PvE is. Now, it's actually kind of funny, I have realized that I have not played a single PvP match with this, with any of these guys at all. Um, I've realized that this game is definitely, for me, PvE. A um, couple catch point twos. Oh, what's up this? In our... Ooh, 800 raw materials. Let's collect those raw materials, actually. Actually, before we even get in, let's see what we can upgrade here. Our command center, which gives us global reputation plus 10. We can upgrade cost us 300. The airport, which... Uh, the current equipment cost when we do upgrades. That's two. We have eight fifty available. Commander XP for the Academy. Two hundred upgrade. The barracks for crew XP is one fifty. The garage, which is a repair cost, is six hundred. That's tier three. And last but not least, the helipad, which is currency earned, the money we earn, is thousand and we upgrade we're at four percent right now. So right now our lowest ones are the command center, the airport, the academy. Uh, the academy is XP for the commander, equipment cost, global reputation. You know what? We're going to upgrade the command center. And we're going to upgrade the airport. And, uh, crew XP, academy. We're actually going to upgrade the academy as well. I think the barracks is one. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's upgrade the barracks as well. That's like perfect. You earn about, I think it's 50 XP a, uh, a game, so it's not too bad. So here we go. So we're running the Patton for, uh, 48 right now. We're going to go over dealers. We're going to go Wolfie. And our plan, as is right now, is to constantly go down the uh, the Leopard uh, leopard range here. And we're going to go to the Leopard uh, 1, which should be soon. Uh, then we're going to go to the, um, the OF-40, which is basically the upgraded variant of the Leopard 1. Uh, we use those in the Canadian Forces. Then here's the Leopard 1A5, which is basically a modified version of the Leopard 1. The OF-40 is kind of like the predecessor of the 2, which is right here. Uh, the other thing I really like about the 2 is the front, is the, uh, the cheeks, which are here and here. Not a big fan of that, because they're easily, easily hit. Then we have, we scroll down here, uh, the Leopard 2 again, so this is the 2AV. 2AV, and then the 2. And then here is the 2A5, which is something we would like because it is going to be hard as shit for anyone to hit us from the front. I like the, uh, the cheeks on this one because they're very, very pointy. And then that's the 2A5, and then here is the 2A6, our final, final plan to get to. So the whole plan is to get to this guy right here. Um... I love this tank, especially this one. Um, <laughs> this one here is what our current Canadian forces are using. Um, yeah, I love it. I love it. I like it a lot. And, oh, actually, we can zoom in. I did not know that. When we zoom in, what is it? Oh. It shows on a scale. Oh, very nice. I like that. I had not seen this before. If we zoom it once. Okay, so that's max zoom. Okay. I like that. I had not seen this before. They must have added this recently, and I did not know that they did. So we're looking at... Uh, so if we really uh, now, if we compare the Leopard 2A6 with the M1A2, they do the same amount of damage. I believe that's what that stands for. Alpha damage, there we go. Alpha damage, sustained damage. So alpha damage, pretty much the same. Sustained damage, pretty much the same. Pretty much, to be honest with you, the same tank, if you look at everything. Cannon depression is a little different. Tra transverse speed is a little different. Reload time is the same. Uh, accuracy spreads the same. Targeting time is the same. Camouflage and vision is a little different. For the vision, this one has a little bit less. Max speed, the Leopard's faster. Which means, obviously, the acceleration is better.
So that's the, I don't know if the lower this is, the better or the higher. Depleted uranium composite, composite. Our turret is better. Unless you get hit the back, which case you're fucked. 85 versus 100. Um, I think this is the higher the number, the better the defense. Then there's the hull. So our hull from the front is better, but our sides are pretty bad, and so is the back. But anyways, let's go to uh, the garage and let's do some more PVE, shall we? We're going to go to easy. And we're going to see which one we get. I'm loving, 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 loving the, um, this, this game. It is just insane. Light vehicles, heavy, heavy tees, and anything else. So, yeah, so we see a light, we go to one. If we see an MBT, we go to two. If we can't hit it with two, we switch over to three. So here we go. Operation Quarterback. Couple... Oh, we are the only MBT. <laughs> oh, man. This will be entertaining. We are the only MBT. <sighs> oh, this is gonna... This... is gonna be hard. Seven, six, five. We're going to go right that way. Two, one. Welcome to the desert, Black Company. The PLM sprung a surprise attack on us and took over the refinery. But you're going to have us take it back. We need to take the refinery. Otherwise, yeah, I don't like the fact that I'm the only MBT. This is not good. I don't recommend the front door. Good luck. Like no one has in this in Looks like the PLM had a backup plan to escape with supplies. If you take them all out, I'll throw in a bonus. We're going right down the middle here. We're gonna be the enemy's primary target. We're gonna stick right here. And we're reloaded. Good work. That should slow them down for a while. Come on, come on, come on. Loaded, nailed up. Three, two, one. Up. Loaded, good hit. Four, three, two, one. We're doing pretty good. We're gonna put another round right through that spot if we can. As the only MBT, this is insane. I've never been on a match where we're the only MBT. If they're all, they're all gonna run ahead and try to grind with the uh, the tanks, so. We're just going to let them do their thing. <laughs> yeah. As the only heavy. Really, I missed.
Lower glaciers. Boosh! So we're not too worried about, uh... We're gonna turn and we're gonna go backwards. <laughs> we're gonna keep going backwards. T-54, they should be able to take him out before we even get to him. If not, we'll put a nice round in it. Oh, seriously? Boom. And there we go. The only tank in this r in this match. I think we got five kills, four kills maybe, or three. <laughs> Let's see how we did. Victory! Now they don't give it like awards or anything like that just yet. It's the game's still in beta, obviously. So we'll get to see how we did. Okay, so we almost maxed out this guy. We did uh, 9,600 in cash, 2,100 in. Um, we only got two kills, son of a bitch. Uh, 2,100 in uh, reputation. Overall, we did 1,200 damage. Oh, we actually did get a award. We got teamwork. Completed a successful PVE mission with no friendly losses. Eh, no big deal. We have five assists, two kills. Not bad. Everyone else on our team was uh, was a fast mover, so. Twice, you know, the uh, second for uh, for damage done. Not bad, not bad, not bad. We did number one in it, so two in assists. Uh, and number three for reputation. As I say, we should have done the worst for uh, for recon, but we didn't. And we only had two kills, so this lav 150 just fucking shoot everybody up. So did this PT 76, which is pretty good. Overall, not bad. We didn't. We bounced a couple rounds, which which kind of sucked. But uh, that is armored warfare. Uh, Academy has been upgraded, etc., etc., etc. Airport's been upgraded. Congratulations, you completed a mission. Blah 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 blah. And there we go. So we can quickly look at our oh, dealers, dealers, dealer. Oh, actually, let's look at the upgrades real quick. Um, I have a lot of C armor piercing, armor piercing penetration, high penetration score, and deals moderate damage penetration score. The round decreases at long range. High velocity armor piercing rounds have a higher velocity than standard rounds, meaning that they travel faster. This uh, this can make it easier to hit moving targets, especially against heavily armored vehicles such as MBTs. So basically, this replaces these ones here, which isn't too bad. This is against lights, so this will replace. The, that heat there. This isn't bad because we got 2,900. We might as well unlock both of those, and it looks like we have our guy totally maxed out. Which is pretty good. We're gonna click you. We're gonna go to garage. So we're gonna change out this for. Um, uh, let's heat. Is this the heat? Uh, yes. Swap you out. Yeah, we actually can get an extra couple of rounds. Um, the armor piercing, it's 190... Nope, that's the better armor piercing. And here is high explosive. So, here is the dealio. Um, enemies cannot be penetrated in other ammunition types. Oh, okay. Um... Wait, what? He is high explosive. 
Yeah, light vehicles. Light vehicles. That's that. Oh, okay, it's set up per per round. Oh, nice. I like it. But yeah, we can actually put in more uh, more rounds here. So when we go to our red level, it's these two here. This one's does 230. This one's does 235. 142 for uh, penetration. 145 for penetration. So we're good there. Our uh, blue, which in this case is armor piercing, which is blue, perfect. Which is blue. Okay. Then no, they they color coded everything. Is that 208 and 177? So it's definitely better. Uh, ooh. Boom. And we can carry more rounds too, which is good. And last but not least, our um, high explosive. We only have the one high explosive anyways. It's kind of ironic that now our um, high velocity armor piercing is now better than everything. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to get rid of that actually. We're going to go 1, 2, 1, 2, 48, 49, 50. So 22 rounds of uh, heat, 90 millimeter heat, and uh, 28 rounds of armor piercing 90 millimeter as well. And we're going to confirm it cost us $3,900. Jesus. Boom, we're done. Crew's good to go. Commander is good to go. Maintenance, don't have to worry. We have no consumables that we're using right now. Retrofits, we only have the one unlocked. Nothing for firepower, nothing for mobility, and nothing for technology. Just the Mark... Oh, actually, how do we upgrade to Mark II? How do you upgrade to Mark II? Regiment's gonna be unlocked by re re requiring improvement scales, blah, blah blah. So we need the. So Mark II is you get it via the M551 uh, Sheridan, and the Mark III is on the Stingray II. So it basically forces you this game to basically get multiple tanks. By getting multiple tanks, you unlock it. So to unlock all our hull reinforcement, we'd have to get the Stingray II and the M5, uh, the uh, 551 Sheridan. Which isn't too bad. I'm personally not a fan of it uh, doing that, but eh, what are you going to do? Right click that. Close you. And there we go. So that is this match of, uh, of Armored Warfare. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Lots of videos coming out this week. A couple a day, at least three or four a day. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you guys on the battlefield next time. Bye bye.